In this video, we are going to learn about how to create buttons with auto layout and we'll make it interactive. Hi, my name is Atul Kumar and you are watching Uxtreme. And in today's video, we are going to cover multiple aspects of a button. Starting with, we'll be discussing about button shapes, button shadows, button types, button sizes. And after that, We'll be creating responsive button with auto layout and we'll be creating interactive button with prototype. And at last, I'll show you one super fun button. So let's get started. The first button shapes. Now there are three types, one with rounded corners. Then we have with smaller corner radius. And last we have rectangular buttons. So these are three types. Then in terms of shadows, we have single shadow button. Now we have double shadow button. And we have our shape shadow button. If I show you how it is made, then if you look at property panel on the right, you can see single shadow over here. In double shadow, we have definitely double shadows. One with lower intensity, one with higher intensity. And in shape, we have a rectangle as a drop shadow. Coming back. Now let's look at button types. So first we have fill button. And then we have outline button. We have tonal button which belongs to same monochromatic color palette. Then we have elevated button. Now this elevation is with bottom border, not with shadow. Then we have text button. Now this button looks like a text, but it has complete tappable area. And uh, here we have fabs or floating actionable buttons. In terms of icons, we have buttons with left icon or right icon or both icons depending on the uses and only icon buttons. Now let's talk about button sizes. On mobile devices, to have an adequate amount of tappable area, we use button from 32 pixels to 64 pixels and 48 pixels to 56 pixels is preferred for a button size on a mobile device to have an adequate tappable area. As on desktop, you can have a smaller clickable size Therefore, we can go down to 24 pixel and up to 72 pixels. We generally use these larger text in our hero banners, but preferred size is 44 pixels to 56 pixels. Moving on, let's go to our Figma file and talk about button states. So we have few button states over here like active, hover, pressed, loading, disabled, success and delete, like, like positive button and negative button. But we mainly use these five states. On mobile devices, we use only four. We don't use hover. Now let's create button interaction with all these five states. So let's use success button for this prototype. So we are gonna grab these five buttons. Select all of them and create a component set. Within this set, we'll prototype so that they can interchange their states.
all right our prototype is done let's grab this component from our library and see that how it's working so let's drag and drop over here and now preview this is our active state when you hover it shows you the hover state when you press it and do not lift your finger it gives you a press state once you lift your finger it gives you a loading state and after two seconds you get a success screen please feel free to pause this video and uh, see how i have made all these interactions moving on let's create a responsive button so right now this button is not responsive it's not even in auto layout therefore we'll make this button responsive by using auto layout so first of all as we can see this button is just a group so we have this outer group and then inner group and within that group we have our text and an icon so let's ungroup this and ungroup inner group as well select all of them together and then press auto layout now this button is responsive as you can see okay it's not responding yet but let's change its alignment to center now you will be able to see its responsiveness but still there is a flaw and flaw is if you go beyond this smaller than this it won't adjust itself also if you increase its text size it will go outside your button area therefore let's make this little more responsive by making this whole button hug to the content and to do that we are going to click over here and select hug content now if you type any other text over here then it will behave something like this okay so this is first level of responsiveness now let's create second level of responsiveness that means if i want to use this button within this screen but i want this to respond to the viewport or width of this screen that means it is not changing right now right but i want to increase its width as per width of this screen to do that let's grab this button right there are two ways to do this first and very simple one is to add constraints to this button that means from left it is constrained from top it is constrained but not from the right and not from the bottom so to do that let's select left and right and we can either keep it top or bottom or both so let's go with bottom now when i make changes to the screen size it responds to that particular screen size now if you do not have this frame then you won't be able to get these constraints if let's say you are using it in a group again in auto layout then you won't be getting these constraints over here so let me quickly show you a demo so i transferred this group to the screen And let us make this responsive. So first of all, I'm going to make this white section constraint as well. 
that means left and right and top and bottom now within this i'm going to make these constraints as well that means left and right and from top over here now i'm going to left align both of these and this i'll keep it as it is now i have fill as auto layout fill container so they will respond to the screen size now once i increase its size it behaves something like this but i want this button to respond to in width as well to do that i'm simply going to change this setting from hug content to fill container and now this will adjust to the screen size and that's how you create a responsive button inside frame moving on so i have created this small animated button and just for example purpose i haven't set it properly so i have one gif kitty over here and one shape shadow over here and similarly in loading state and i thank you state so let me set my initial green something like this i'll hide it from this button as well and now this is single button there is no it is if at the back but this is the complete background gif i am using and now let's look at its prototype and uh, this is our demo of component 16 i'm gonna put it here going to align it a bit preview so we have our button and once you hover on this and once you click on this ta-da! all right guys that's all for this video i hope you liked it if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I post videos weekly. Stay tuned for the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.